What is in the box? Oh god. Oh god! <laughs>What's going on guys and girls, my name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the fantastic Pandora's Box Mod. So yeah, if you're new to this mod, think about the Lucky Block Mod, but times like 100. And then you've got the Pandora's Box Mod, so it's very, very cool. I have actually done this mod before, but it was well over a year ago, so there's been loads of different changes and updates and stuff uh, to it, so I thought it would be cool to give it a little revisit. And to be honest... It's probably one of my favourite mods. It's so destructive, it's so completely random, um, but it's very, very fun. So, this is the block in question, and the mod only actually adds this one thing, and this is the Pandora's box. So this is what it looks like here. Very, very cool looking. And there's two different ways that you can get this. So, the first way, which is probably the easiest way, is to craft it. So, it's relatively cheap, actually, f for kind of what it does and what it can give you. Um, but it has these two gold ingots at the top, the ender pearl, uh, four pieces of redstone, and then two just wood. And then that will give you the Pandora's box. Now, this mod is very, very, very destructive. So, just before we start opening some of them, just a quick sort of reminder, if you are going to check this mod out, uh, make sure you do it on a new world save or do this well away from anything you're even remotely proud of. Um, because chances are, things are going to get messy. Uh, but yeah, you can craft it, and as well as that, you can also find it in dungeon chests. So this is potentially the worst uh, desert temple that I've ever seen spawn, ever. Um, but if we actually go inside here quickly, I think, yeah, I've already, I've already been down here to check it out. So um, yeah, you can actually find these in dungeon chests as well, so please don't explode, please don't explode. Uh, yes, there we go. It's just a good example of this, basically, that's got nothing in it. Uh, there we go, we've got one Pandora's box in there, we've got two in there, and then we've got another one in there. So that's quite good, actually, four per little dungeon. So they, they have them in pretty much all the vanilla dungeons, uh, you know, like the standard ones with the mob spawners, and then the temples, and then the desert temples, that kind of thing. So that's another way to get these. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we open some of these bad boys so we can see what we get inside them. So, yeah, we've moved over to some nice flatland area so we can kind of maximise this. And, uh, yeah, this can go one of three ways. Basically, it'll be amazingly awesome. No, one of four ways. Amazingly awesome, amazingly weird, amazingly horrible, and kind of useful. Um, so you don't really know what you're going to get, which is the whole point of it, really. Um, so, yeah, when you're ready, you right-click it down on the ground. It kind of sits there, and then when you want to open it, you right-click it again. And the first thing you'll see is this amazing sort of opening animation, and then you just kind of have to wait and see what we get. So, ooh. So we started off quite slow here with just one of the useful ones. Oh, God, it's not so useful anymore. <laughs> There's always a little surprise. Oh, God. So you thought... It was going to give you items, which it kind of did, but then it spawned a load of, of mobs, and as well as mobs, they have armor on, so that's going to be kind of tough. It spawned a load of potatoes as well, so you can kind of have those as well if you want, but loads and loads of tough mobs. The king of luck. Uh, it also has like a random name generator on some of these, so you can get random mobs and, and stuff with cool names, and you can get specialized custom weapons that you can only get out of this, uh, which is very awesome. So yeah, let's open another one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god, it's one of the terrain ones. Oh, this is one of the big ones. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. I know what happens in this one. This one's just a huge, huge clump of trees. Um, so yeah, if you're stuck in the middle of that, it's kind of dangerous. So I managed to get out just in time. But this is going to spawn a huge clump of uh, jungle trees just in the middle of wherever it is. So as I kind of mentioned, make sure you do this away from anything you're vaguely proud of. Because it will get destroyed instantly. Um... So yeah, that's number two, just a load of, of trees, but pretty cool nonetheless. If you need some wood, you got wood. Number three, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. I love that animation, it's so cool looking. Um, so hopefully we're going to go... Oh! Oh my god, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> okay, so this is just one of these weird ones where it kind of spawns a load of random stuff. So this has spawned fire, enderman, zombie pigman, cookies, cake, and a sphere made out of sandstone and TNT. And my frame rate is going mad. Um, okay. Whoa! Whoa! And it's raining TNT. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> oh my god. Time for another one. Dun, 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 dun. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? So, whoop! Oh my god! <laughs> so this one is... This, that's kind of weird. Uh, it's given us loads of triple chicken... Uh, what? I have no idea. Just chickens rowdy chickens. Um, why? It doesn't matter why. 
It's cool. And it's also given us a custom mob here, which is already half dead. It's called Our oh, Lord of Lords and Knights. Lord of Lord, I salute you. Let's see if we can beat chicken jockeys. Uh, <laughs> this mod is so addictive, uh, you just want to keep opening it over and over and over again. So this is, I think this is one of the useful ones, providing, of course, it doesn't do anything horrible. It's doing something horrible. What the hell? Whoa! Oh my god, that's really cool. So it's given us a load of um, clay and buckets, but it's also created this huge glass orb. Now, you can imagine that if you did this in survival mode, you could actually utilize this pretty cool as like a big greenhouse or something. So that's actually a pretty nice one, I think. Uh, it would have been horrible if it filled with lava. It probably will at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's just do maybe, ah, I don't know. Let's just do like five more. That's so fun to do. All right, let's move over here to some space. Right, click it, stick it down. Dun, 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 dun. What are we going to get from the Pandora's box? Load of arrows! Oh, God! <laughs> that's one of the trap ones. So it's had a load of active arrows that fires out of it. Is it finished? You can never really tell. Is it? Is it done? I think it might be done. Okay, so that gave us a load of arrows that just fell out of the sky. Pretty dangerous, I've got to say. Let's do another one here. Stick it down. Um, let's go, like, from the back of it this time. Okay. <laughs> this is another one of these terrain changes, but it's one of these really, really random ones. This is going to go on forever. This is huge. So it makes this, like, huge sphere of kind of stuff. But this is, what is this? This is hay. So if you ever wanted bread, you've got bread now. This is hay, this is stone bricks, this is mossy cobblestone, this is very, very random. Let's do another one! Yes! Alright, we can do like maybe three more. Um, it's really difficult to kind of show you the full array of these because there's just so, so many different examples of what these things do, but hopefully I've shown you sort of some pretty cool ones. Uh, we've got three enchanted books here, which is one of the useful ones, so we've got sharpness, efficiency, smite, and unbreaking. So that's pretty useful. Alright, let's do two more. Dun 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 Oh! It's gone dark. What the hell? I've got nausea and blindness. Um, is what? Is anything going to happen? Oh, it's horrible. Let me get rid of that. Ugh. I think it's just one of those potion ones. Okay, so that's not too bad. I was thinking that maybe some mobs would have come, but it didn't. The mobs can come, by the way. I've seen that before. Whoa. So I got a pair of enchanted boots there, which have clearly been buried. And just a load of sand. All right, one more for good luck. One more for good luck. Uh, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? It's like opening Pokemon's cards. Hey. Oh. Ooh. Oh, God. Silver rats. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. So it gave us this nice sort of clay thing and then filled it with silver rats. That kind of sucks. All right. One more. One more. This is the final one now. Um, da, 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 da. That was a creepy noise. And it's given us... We have to finish on something good. That's the rule. We have to finish on something good. That's not good. That's a big hole. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, it's... What the hell? Oh yeah, as well as that, remember like the first one with the orbs? They actually spawn them in the sky as well, which is pretty awesome. Alright, this is the final box now. This one is for YouTube, this one is for all of you out there. Let's hope for something good. And it's coming, and it's... I hope that's not the Enderman. Is that it? Oh! Hey, it's ready... <laughs> oh my god, it's ready, pumpkins. Ah! Okay, that is incredibly random. But okay, fair enough. All right, so you know what? I think that's where we're going to call it for this Pandora's box mod. So yeah, in essence, what it is, I'll just open some more in the background here for the fun of it. Uh, but yeah, in essence, what this is, is just a completely randomizer block, which everything weird can kind of happen from it. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen, and that's the whole point of it. It's very, very fun, very, very destructive, very, very frame ratey. if you just go mad like I have. Uh, but yeah, very, very awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, remember to leave a like on it. That would be awesome. If we could get over a thousand, uh, let's try for Oh my God, there's a pussycat. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, if we get over a thousand, that would be awesome. Thank you so, so much for all your ratings. It really does help me out an awful, awful lot. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, um, yeah, make sure you do that. We we do Minecraft on fun. And there's... Oh, God. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, but yeah, okay. So until next time, let me get away from this lag fest. Urgh. Here we go. So, oh, God, they're following me. Oh, they're all tamed. Let me frolic in my pussycats. Yes. So yeah, until next time, thank you once again for watching, guys. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.